Hi, so this is just going to be a quick debate tip, um, and this is for our um, migration debate that we are working on now, but really it can be applied to any kind of debate, debate scenario. The tip is to always learn from what you've seen and what you've heard. Um, normally in school and different things, you know, people tell you to always make sure that you're, you're staying true to your own ideas and staying true to the things that you have researched and the work that you have done, and that is always a true thing. However, we need to be smart about what we're doing, and when it comes to debate, if you are not learning from what, what you're seeing and what you're hearing, then you're always going to end up getting beat. And so what you want to do is that every time you listen to another person debate, you should be looking for certain things. The first thing that you should be looking for are ways that they, ways they speak that set them apart. These can either be things that you would want to do or things that you want to avoid. So, for example, these can be things like... Um, are they speaking so quickly that nobody can really understand them? So even though there's a lot of things that they are saying, it really doesn't make a lot of sense. Or is are they making sure that every time there's a piece of evidence, they are using a signal phrase? So they might be saying things like, according to this article, according to this author, um, based on a quote from this doctor or this, you know, person who's really important. Um, are they doing things like that? Are they always staring down and reading directly from their paper? Or are they making eye contact and really listening to the things that you um, are saying or, you know, really driving home their point in a way that is powerful? Do they get louder at certain parts and softer at other parts? So we're trying to learn from things that are setting them apart, and you want to try and get better. So if an argument seems particularly compelling um, and you're really convinced by it, and this can be... Um, something that you hear as a judge or that you hear during debate. It doesn't matter either way. Um, you should just always be trying to soak those things up. And if there's something that sets them apart, you want to make note of it and either decide not to do that or add little pieces of what they are doing into your own debate. The second thing you should be looking for is information they have that you don't have. And so you always want to keep an extra note sheet handy so that you can write down the claims or evidence or reasoning they use and steal it for your own. Yes, I said steal it. And so what you want to make sure of is that if you think you've got a really great claim or a really great case for something, and then as you're in this debate with the other person, they really are kind of dismantling it. They're taking it apart. They have evidence that is stronger that kind of disproves what you're thinking, you want to take that and not only add that evidence or that information into your own um, case that if you had to argue the opposite side would be just as good as what you're experiencing, but you also want to think about, okay, what can I do now? What information could I add to my own case, to my own argument that would actually allow me um, to be more successful? And so you want to do that. Again, I would keep that extra note sheet handy, and I would always be writing down what that's called. is called flowing a debate, um, and I would just always make sure that you have that and that you are tracking the things that they are saying and doing in their debate so that you um, can go back and add it to your own. Another thing that you want to be looking for is weaknesses in their I arguments that might be present in your own. So if you notice that there's a particular argument that they have or a claim that they have that is the same or very similar to one that you have, and you notice that they really aren't arguing it very well or that you can defeat it really easily, um, you want to be like take note of that and figure out, okay, what is it that's making it weak? What could they add or what do you need to add to actually make that stronger? And again, go back and add that to your own arguments. And then the other thing that you want to do is figure out, okay, are there places in your debate, um, in your cases, that you need additional research for so that you can fill in the gaps of either your weaknesses or even the weaknesses that you're seeing in other people? Because, again, it's all about turning the lens back on you and how can I use the things that I'm seeing and experiencing to make me better and to figure out what I need to do to um, – yeah, to improve. So again, every time you debate is another chance to get better. The goal is steady, forward progress. We don't ever expect you to be perfect the first time around. I don't even expect you to be perfect the fifth time around. But again, you want to get steadily better, and as long as you're doing that and making forward progress, then you're going to be headed in the right direction. Best of luck.